is buzzing for this one here tonight. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. It's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Connor, the Destroyer Ben. He's 173 centimeters tall with a reach of 173. Oh, pai, and in this corner, it's Saul Canelo. Canelo. And here is the Destroyer, Connor Ben, one of those must-see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating Canelo. Saul Canelo Alvarez. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from man. Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor, the Destroyer, Ben. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Saul. Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing, here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. A sacale la mierda, Canelo. A sacale la mierda, Canelo. These two fighters, now it's time to put up or shut up. You couldn't even squeeze through to your seat. This is that pipe. The atmosphere is ridiculous. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Saca de la mierda a Canelo. Él va a querer venir. Él va a querer venir a apurado y que a noquearme. Yo lo voy a, yo voy a ver que él. That's another scoring shot. Right hand. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Hey, I'm getting points. I'm nice getting exchanges points. from both men in this round. Got him with a left jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good one. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Ah, okay. Yo, tú no te puedes cansar. Tú no puedes muy rápido para cansarte. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? No puede muy rápido para cansarte. Tú no puedes estar tirando golpes como los locos. Uh -huh. Tienes que ir, tiene que ir. Pace yourself, man. This fighter's gonna get caught first. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. He misses with that jam. Keep 
keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Speed generates power. Time is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop, knock anybody out. You've just got to hit him in the right spot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This one goes to the judges. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Which fighter will say no moss? Round skill up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Ay, ay, papá. Ya, ya, no puedo estar gastándome mucho. Esa es mi energía y este es mi poder. Y yeah, no puedo estar usando mucho power punches. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? He threw the hook, didn't land. This fighter sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to tick their boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Changes from both men in this round. Good right hand. Neither man really defending themselves. He misses with that jab. No doubt that this fighter's power can very close round with 10 seconds to go. Ha 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 ha! We're ese man. Yeah, don't waste your energy, man. That's my power. Can't waste my power yet. No. Él no me está pegando, pero estoy gastando, me estoy cansando, esa es mi energía. That's my power. So what I gotta do is, don't use no power punches yet, man. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Hit him with a left jab! Misses with that jab. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Changes from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. Then step back 
for just a moment. Got out of the way that right hook. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with some of this. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Ahí lo estoy bailando. Lo estoy bailando. Estoy gastando, me, él no me está pegando, digo que estoy gastando mi energía, la barrita blanca. No puedo gastar mi energía, papá. No puedo gastar mi energía. Good punch. exchange here from both men and he just misses with that jab Fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating when you're in the city. That's fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. These two are the perfect dance partners. He didn't take that jab well at all. One of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Ay. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Gastando mi energía, gastando mi energía. Who's going to be the first Rock one to get punched? And he just missed with that left jab. All the time. He missed with that jab. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're thinking, you just have to be smarter than this. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. out of the way of that left hand. And not throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. And 
endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Estoy haciendo locura, me apuré ahí. Estoy apurándome mucho. No puedo estar apurándome, me tengo que coger lo suave. There's a scoring blow. Nice exchange here from both men. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a cross. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Mm, I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. Oh, madre, esta pelea está buena. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. Oh, and he caught him there with a right hook. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Ooh, that punch hurt him. Uppercut, the most difficult punch to land clean, and he just did it there. Oh, now block. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good job, man. It's a good fight. It's a good fight. It's a good fight.
Tocha Mari. Yeah, I gotta. I can't use all my power points. He will be buzzed first. in the past from this fighter they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment i've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone forget tactics they know the same can he finish the job how is he still on his feet it appears that the moment of trouble has passed at least for now Perfect dance partner. Big swing and a miss. What a punch. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pumped areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Perfect punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Ay, lo tamalie, lo tamalie. I got that round. Right. I got that round. Right. I got enough. I still got enough energy. Yeah. There's the bell to start round 10. Yeah, fuck. That should have split decision right here. Blocks the jab. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? It's the one who draws first blood count. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Can they figure out the combination to this set? Got his gloves up to block the left jab. Estoy combinando. You've heard the phrase finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're gonna find out. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Yeah, I got that win. I got that. I got that. Ryan and Larry. Some of the 
best action I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Oh, man. Hey, jab. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are hard we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab they're that powerful and ben just got rocked he just got very close round with 10 seconds to go Hey, oh, I'm yo. Johnny, but I'm getting a little bit sleepy. Just a little fight finder, that's all it is. Now I have boxing skills. Last round. Hora de la verdad. Oh, and shit. There's the bell start round 12. chin do they have a good chin do they have a glass jaw those are questions that are being answered here tonight what a gift what a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything when you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down it's so demoralizing it absolutely breaks your heart what else can you do Some nice exchanges from both men in this round will slow down it picks up nice hook very close round with 10 seconds to go <laughs> yeah, I got that shit. A little bit closer, but in the end, the referees. Oh, I guess that I did on a Canelo. Come on, that's man. Skills. That's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down Get there. Get the fuck out of here, man. Learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. 